Before Jesus went to heaven, he said to them, wait in Jerusalem. There was a clear command, wait. The Bible also says those who wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. There's a time of waiting, but not passive waiting. It's an act of waiting this, where you wait for the power to come. Then Jesus said, for you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. They waited, and on the day of Pentecost, great power fell from heaven. <gasps> I tell you, I like that. Without this power, Christianity is just a mere religion. There's many religions on the earth, but there's few that can raise, there's none that can raise the dead. There's not a religion that can open blind eyes and let the lame walk. But my Jesus, he do that. Hallelujah. What is the difference between true Christianity and religion? Religion is something powerless that can do nothing and cannot live out the command of Jesus when he said, cast out devils and heal the sick and raise the dead and open the blind eyes and let the lame walk. Religion cannot do that. But I tell you, in the name of Jesus, we can. Because he said we can do all things through Christ to strengthen us. Jesus is God's answer to us. Say to God next to this, no other answer but Jesus. Jesus is God's answer for me. Jesus is God's answer for me. Say to your neighbor, Jesus is God's answer to you. Jesus did not send himself. God the Father sent him. And God himself became a man. This is the awesomeness about Jesus. Is that God himself decided to become a man. To walk on this earth on my behalf. Conquer death and hell on my behalf. So that when I believe in him. I can also conquer death and hell. Give Jesus a hand. Amen. This is awesome people. Jesus brought us back. Under command of God the Father, to bring us back to the place where we rule and reign again. In Jesus' name. Where we not submitted to death and sickness anymore. But where we stand up in victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Say to the guy next to this is the mystery of the gospel. The Bible called the gospel a mystery. Many people don't see it. Because one man. God became a man. When he walked this earth, he was not God. I say, when he did, that's where many people miss it. When he walked this earth, he was not God. He was a man. Because he left that in heaven. And he came to this earth as a man. But without any sin. He never committed one sin. Not one wrongdoing. Walking in a weak body like mine. You know, Adam was in a better position when he was tested. He was in a perfect body. When Jesus was tested, with every temptation known to mankind, he was in a body like yours and mine. So the victory of Jesus is awesome. So Adam, in a perfect state, failed. Jesus, in a weak body like mine, but yet with a sinless nature, did not fail when he was tried by Satan. Where Jesus is again greater than Adam. The Bible called Jesus the last Adam. What, what's making Jesus greater? Adam was tried with one temptation, and he fell. Jesus was tried with every temptation known to mankind, and he did not fall. He did not commit one sin. This is what's making him awesome, and he did all of this, not as God, as a man. <gasps> this is awesome, people. As a man, it would have not been a big deal if it was God. But God left being God behind in heaven, became a man. Wow. And he conquered Satan and sin completely. Then he went back to the position. He's not coming back as a man only. Now he's coming back as God. But he showed us the way by becoming a man and conquer Satan on our behalf. So that when we believe, we believe in Jesus. <laughs> His victory become my victory. He's conquering hell and death 
become my conquering spirit because I'm a co-heir with him. 